So I have diabetes, um, I have type 2 diabetes. Uh, it happened probably like about 9, 10 years ago when I was diagnosed with um, a heart disease. Um, since then, I've been trying to figure it out. I've been, you know, trying to keep it under control. And, you know, I've been using my machine to prick myself to make sure that I check it daily and everything like that. A few months ago, I went to the doctor. My A1C was way too high. It was up to 14, which is really, really high. It's supposed to be six point something. And it was way up to 14. So we went, um, I talked to my doctor and we went on a regimen of um, insulin, which I wasn't taking before because I just took like basic medication for it. And, um, and she put me on insulin. I've been taking insulin now for about three months. Um, my A1C has went down. And uh, when my A1C went down, it's down to about around seven. It's, it's close to seven. So I need to bring it down just a little bit more. So while I was there, she was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and put uh, this machine on you. It, so that's the one she put on there. And I had this on for the past three days over the weekend. And I don't want to take it out, but I have to take it back to her. So this kind of give you real time reading. And you can see right now I'm at one. 52 two hours after eating breakfast i'm at 152 and you can see also that it's, it's dropping right there so that's really good so what this does is it's really just a so if you look right here this is this is it right here um right in the doctor office they stuck this in it was it was painless almost painless and basically it's waterproof you can walk around with it um a little bulge on there but nothing much for what that does i kind of knew about it but i i never really look into it so um so i i wore this over the weekend and i've been monitoring myself and this have just worked wonders for me it kind of just made me feel like i i, I had more control over everything so for one, um, the first thing I learned was, um, the first thing I learned with that having this for over the weekend was I was taking too much insulin. So I had to drop my insulin among that I was taking. My sugar level was dropping way below it was supposed to. On here you see a red line and a yellow line. You want to stay in between those lines. So I'm trying to stay in between those lines. The yellow is 200 and I think the, the, the red is about 80. So mine, when I first put it on Friday, when I, when I first put it a few days ago, it was dropping way below the line down in the 70s. And that's not the number I'm, I'm looking for. And, and it made me feel kind of queasy and just kind of lightheaded. So I had to, come, I had to kind of pop in a, probably a, a sweet or a chocolate or whatever, or eat something really quick. But then I realized I was taking the, my medication so I realized my insulin was a little too high, so I had to adjust it. So I talked to my doctor and I brought it down by almost 80%. So I was taking, I think it was um, about 45 milligrams I was taking. So I brought it down to almost 10. And for the past few days, I've, even the day after, because I normally take it in the morning, the day after, I felt so much better and energetic. Because when you're, when you're like overnight, when your blood sugar drop and this kind of went off on this so the first night this went off twice because my sugar level was dropping way too much so this is what i like about this i just did it and on the second day perfect i woke up in the morning my sugar level was pretty low it was above 80 um so close to 90 and by the time i had breakfast and i could look at it i'm looking at it and you can see I just look, I just like that that graph up there that shows me exactly where I'm at at what time. And even this morning, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling kind of messed up taking this back right now to the doctor. But I'm online researching how I can find the the Dexcon. I'm trying to get the Dexcon G6, which is the latest one, and you can use it with your phone. Put this in, and you can use it with your phone, and you can see your activities daily. If you eat something right away it tells you exactly how much you pop up if you, if you eat a banana about uh, 25 minutes 30 minutes an hour later you will see your blood sugar started to rise you can see and you can know how to interact and how to do things to minimize that impact on your body 
So, so I, I look on Amazon, I found the, I found the sensor, the transmitter, and the receiver. And I have all that in my box. I don't think I, I don't really need the receiver because I can use my cell phone. The receiver is kind of kind of expensive, almost four hundred dollars for the receiver. But I can just do the transmitter, the sensor, and a few of the sensor pack or whatever. But I can do just the three parts and, and get this. They get this. I have it in my box right now in Amazon. But also I'm working with Walgreens to see if my insurance will pay for it and get it for me. So far, the first go at it, they denied it. But I'm going to try again with the help of my doctor and see if I can get one of those things ASAP because I'm, I'm, I'm just liking this, to be honest. I'm just liking this. It's so much control. And my goal from now on is really to get rid of the type 2 diabetes. I really want to work at this. I've done good in beating um, my heart disease. And also I can do this with, with I can also do the same with um, with the with the diabetes, type 2 diabetes. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I, anything I put my mind to, I'm badass at that. So I'm liking this. It's just a pity that I have to take this one back. Even though this one is an older model, this is a Dexcon G4. So I'm trying to get a Dexcon G6, which is a, a better model than, or a newer model than this one. Then I, so I'll keep you updated. I have more news to tell you guys about my my heart disease, my defibrillator right there is dead and we're about to remove it completely. Just remove it and not replace it. Guys, this is Charlie. Like and subscribe. I'm out.